I'm uh, Petra de Sitter. I'm a green politician, a member of the European Parliament. I'm uh, a hard worker, dedicated, loyal and authentic. I'm a scientist and I was um, getting in contact with patients with health problems that may have been probably the result of environmental issues and the crime disrupting chemicals. I'm a fertility specialist and that made me angry and that's why I wanted to look for answers and I came to the conclusion that regulation fails although the science is there. That's why I became an ecologist. I have always been working at the international level as a scientist, also as a clinician. I have a lot of foreign patients in my practice. Um, and in politics, I think all levels are important, but I'm most attracted to the European level because I think that the really big problems should be addressed at the highest level possible. I want to fight for um, justice in uh, all areas, be it um, a more social uh, Europe that gives equal chances to everyone, uh, human rights that are there for everyone, for minorities, for refugees, for LGBT people, for women. Gender equality is very important for me. And of course, um, everything that affects our environment. Um, I think the climate youth, the young people coming into the streets that uh, gave us the political um, energy to continue our fight in, uh, in the campaign and uh, our work in the parliaments, it was legitimated by uh, people in the street, young people um, whose future it's all about. It's not about my future, my work will not affect my future, not so much, but it will affect the future of children, grandchildren coming after us. So that was a, um, a very important fact during the last months uh, during our campaign. <laughs> Meryl Streep. I need to read the, I need to read the question. <laughs> If a movie was made about your life, which actor would play your role? Yeah, she's a character actress. Um, I, I just love her. She's really great in all the movies that she's ever made. And for some reason I have, um, you know, a click with her. So she probably doesn't know that. But uh, yeah, I would choose her. <laughs>